All right, guys, so I'm gonna make this as quick as I can. It's just after four o'clock. It gets dark in literally, probably two hours or less than two hours now. I'm running super far behind, it's raining, but it's the same, same deal as, as always, we're going to the oats. get aggressive on these deer guys I showed you that hodag box it's a licking stick and what I'm gonna do after this hunt when it gets dark I'm gonna get out of this field oh boy it's real slick um, I'm gonna get out of this field and then I'm going to grab a pop-up blind and I'm gonna push up a pop-up blind in the corner of this field where that big buck came out at and then I'm also gonna put that licking stick up. And we are gonna get aggressive with these deer. That's what I'm doing this evening. The wind is iffy, um, but this is gonna be fun. I've had three straight hunts in a row where I've come out here, seen these deer, put a good pattern on them, and now I just need to execute. into the field because the wind is blowing back into it and whenever the wind is blowing back into it they can smell what's in this tree line here and then they can also look up and see what's out in the field straight ahead and they feel comfortable that way so since I know that they're using this corner right here to my left and the wind is either blowing straight out or across me and back to my right should be good as long as they come out from where they normally come out from this is a huge gamble but this is the first time all season that i've gotten aggressive and this is going to be fun so crossing my fingers hoping for the best hoping that the wind gets a little bit more east for me stays cutting across my face but we'll see direction and then turned around and took off running but I didn't see his tail whenever he was running away I'll have to look at it closer on the video but I think not, what that might have been is uh, he saw that doe and started chasing her I don't know but I just have a feeling that he just 
just caught my wind. I may be tucked in a little bit too close to this corner. He may pop out down there at the other end. We'll see. We've still got another hour and a half until it gets dark. Man, that sucks. I hope he didn't catch my wind. I'm looking at the boats and they're blowing back this way. But for whatever reason, he must have caught my wind or something. I don't know. I'm playing it super dangerous right now. was a miserable failure too. Those jo those does just took off running. What happened was they popped out right there where that blind is and whenever they popped out they were right on the tree line like right here. Well I was sitting right up in here and now I have moved down because the wind changed to being more straight at my back blowing right back into the field. Well what happened was, I was sitting here, the deer popped out here, I picked up and moved, but my scent is still right here. So, <clears throat> I wish that I could have come in from this fence right behind me. I wish I'd have been thinking about it ahead of time. But, you win some, you lose some. There's still a chance that I could see the spike, because I haven't seen him yet. But, there's also a chance that I could see plenty of other does. The thing that blows my mind is that whenever those deer come out and they hit that tree line, they never feed out that far. What they always do is they pop out, feed right there on the tree line, and either go one direction or the other. And whenever they first popped out, I could tell they were jumpy. They had smelled, or they were smelling my scent from further uh, down in the corner from where I just was. I've moved probably 50 yards down now. All because the wind changed on me, but there's nothing I can do now. We're fixing to make a move on them. I don't know how, but we're going to. It should be fun. Hopefully they stay in the field and give me a chance to get down there on them. <laughs> oh yes please, we're fixing to have us some fun. This deer hunt just turned into a hog hunt, baby. There's two big old pigs, actually one big old pig in the corner of this field down here. And what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to head away from them so they don't catch my wind. And then uh, we're going to sneak right on in on them. I saw two dark spots down there and I was like, huh, what in the world is that? Put the binoculars on them. Ah, we got pigs. Let's go have some fun. Okay, so jumping several days here now. Um, I went out, as you guys saw, I was sitting in the field. My All of my maps, or not maps, but my weather apps and stuff like that, they were all saying that that wind was supposed to be cutting across my face. And it ended up hitting me right in the back. So you guys saw the big buck, they got spooked. The does, they got spooked, they left. And that was all I saw for the rest of the evening, except for those hogs. I went after them. <laughs> And what ended up happening there was I get probably 80 yards from them and I drop my light down over their back and they just spooked. They picked up a shadow or something um, or they saw me walking across the field even though it was pretty much 100% dark. But um, they spooked and they took off, got out of there. I never was able to get a shot on them. It stinks because they've been tearing up that oak field and I recognize that little black and white spotted hog. He's been... Um, one of my targets for a while now <laughs> so him and I will meet again but anyways um, I'm dropping in some footage right now um, of some more setting up this is the second part of this whole or the second video of this whole um, series going after this big buck and and the, the reason why I just dropped the time lapse in there of us setting up on this deer is because it was raining it was nasty it was super duper cold i didn't want to pull my big cameras out and get them soaking wet my gopro is waterproof so i just threw it up on top of the buggy to get a time lapse as we set that pop-up blind in and <clears throat> i set up a hodag i don't know if you guys have heard of this company before it's called hodag licking stick i set one of those up and they send you a bottle of some sort of 
community scrape sort of liquid type stuff. It's hard to explain. Um, but this isn't like a sponsorship or anything like that. I just wanted to try out this hodag licking stick and um, if you guys want you can check it out as well. You can find out some information on their website. But I set one of those licking sticks up out in the field and me and dad put in that pop-up blind and got it completely brushed in. And I, ever since then we've had south winds. So that spot is there for a north wind and that's the only way that we can hunt it. Now I want to show you guys something um, also as well. Actually, yeah, I want to show you guys this on Onyx Maps. And I'm just going to kind of give you a real quick overview um, of what we're looking at here. Because I know that I've talked about it a bunch but and, and hunt the oat field and everything. But I haven't really gone into great detail. Um, so basically what I've figured out so far while hunting this, this buck um, not just this buck in particular, but I'm hunting any of these deer that come into this field. This is what they're doing. So, let me get the glare off my phone. Basically, whenever these deer come out, they are coming out right along in here and different areas down along this way. But they're from this corner and back probably about 50 yards and back this way. This is the only portion of the field that they will use. Um, for whatever reason... Um, I've set up over here with the north wind and they will not get close to me. They will hang out in this corner and there's oak trees all along that are dropping acorns in here. So they they really like this little edge here. They like this um, this back little corner right here and they love all of this right in here. And like I said, um, I know that they're coming from here. I know that this, this area um, right in here is where they're bedding. Um, you know, right all in this thick stuff is where a bunch of these are bedding. I and mean, it's it's gonna be awesome. I'm going out this evening. I'm gonna hunt the oat field. I'm I'm trying to get that stinking spike, but um, it's just um it's just a game of of patience. And so I'm I'm hoping to get it done on the spike this evening. And we've also got a north wind and a very good cold front coming in tomorrow. So we'll have our north winds back. And then the next video that you guys will be expecting hopefully is me and either my mom or my dad going out hunting in that pop up line over that mock scrape sort of deal it's like a community scrape um, but anyways we're going to be hunting over that hopefully that buck will make an appearance and we can seal the deal but i'm continuing to keep track of him it was super risky getting real close to their bedding area like that but i think that um, we did a good job being real quiet and that we didn't um, blow anything out of there and so it's going to be it's going to be a challenge it's going to be a lot of fun so you guys want to stick around make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on anything and I know that this video kind of got a little bit long, but um, I just kind of wanted to share some of this information with you guys in hopes that um, it makes a little bit better sense. But we're set up, and like I said, risky to do late in the season, but you got to make some moves in order to to kill the kill the big bucks. So that's what we're after. That's what we're going to do, hopefully. And this is going to be a stinking blast. Going, I'm going. Like I said, I'm going to sit on that oat field again this evening to gather as much information on these deer and movement and everything like that and so this is just going to be even more helpful so got two uh, trail cameras that take pictures and send them to your phone uh, they're the cell cams and they are coming in uh, sometime this week so that will also help me i'm going to go set those up on some trails i'll probably take you guys along um, and film that whole deal as we continue this adventure of honing in on this buck which we don't have a name for yet um, we need to name them though. <laughs> but anyways, drop your comments down below. Let's think of some deer names, guys. And I appreciate y'all watching and, and sticking around and for all the continued support. You guys are amazing. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys on the next one.